With the success of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, every other film franchise wants to become a cinematic universe of its own, belching out bland, disinteresting movies like Mad. This begs the question, does the Marvel Cinematic Universe suck for movie making? If it's all the same to you, I'll have that drink now. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is the biggest thing in movies right now. It's the number one highest grossing franchise of all time, beating out the Harry Potter franchise and the over 50 year old James Bond franchise. That might change with a certain little indie project getting released next month. It's true. But for right now, Marvel is the king of movies. I think it's clear why. Marvel did something rarely done before. It made an interconnected universe branching out into many movies. I'm here to talk to you about the Avenger initiative. It also did something else that I'll get to later. A lot of studios decide to copy the Air Connected Universe idea. The most obvious is DC with the upcoming Batman v Superman, but we have a lot more coming. We have a Star Wars Cinematic Universe, a Lego Cinematic Universe, a Fast and the Furious Cinematic Universe, an X-Men Cinematic Universe, which Fox will tease could include the Fantastic Four, while hoping people don't learn that they don't actually have the rights to make a Fantastic Four X-Men crossover movie. We also have a Ghostbusters Cinematic Universe, a Transformers Cinematic Universe, a Valiant Comic Cinematic Universe, a Robin Hood Cinematic Universe, a Universal Monsters Cinematic Universe, a failed Spider-Man Cinematic Universe, even a Jump Street Men in Black Cinematic Universe, apparently. People are dumb, panicky, dangerous animals, and you know it. And now that we're getting overloaded with the Cinematic Universes, it's to the point where people have decided to hate on Marvel for creating such an onslaught. To a degree, I understand. When a film is a franchise, sacrifices must be made. You can't say something like Grand Budapest Hotel and the Naked Gun are in the same universe, because how the hell do you reconcile those worlds? You have a universe where literally anything will happen for a joke in a highly stylized, silly universe that somehow can still be taken somewhat seriously. Mixing these two just doesn't work. So that means to be part of a cinematic universe, you have to homogenize your film. You can't contribute any cool style to your filmmaking because it will likely conflict with what other filmmakers will do with their films in that franchise. You pretty much have to tell a straightforward story where you point the camera at people and have them talk you through the story. It doesn't mean you can't have cool visuals or anything like that, but those visuals have to be within reason for the universe. You can't go too wonky. You have to play it safe. This is probably why Edgar Wright dropped out of Ant-Man. Makes sense. And while the Marvel Cinematic Universe did inspire this wave of Cinematic Universes all meant to be cash cows just like the MCU, all existing not to be good movies but to make money, there is one key ingredient that made MCU the big hit that is. Marvel has made consistently good, sometimes even great movies. Sometimes only average, but that's uncommon. And really, the worst they've ever gone is average. Anyone else? Marvel has made itself a brand that people can depend on. If you go to see a Marvel movie, you know almost certainly you're getting a fun action film of some sort. That's the problem with hating on the MCU simply because of what it has inspired. Remember the film Robocop? Using this logic, you should probably hate that. After all, it inspired a bunch of shitty sequels and a shitty remake. Remember when Star Wars was released? Remember all the sci-fi films that were made in an attempt to cash in on that film's popularity? Some were solid, some sucked. And no one said Star Wars sucked just because it inspired some shitty movies. Fact is, MCU is awesome. It just has some studios wanting to copy the success. And some will be awesome and likely be remembered just as fondly as the MCU. Friday the 13th and A Nightmare on Elm Street were simply trying to cash in on the success of Halloween and now are looked at as equals to the Halloween franchise in many ways. However, most of these movies trying to cash in on the success will suck and they'll just be forgotten about. Does anyone out there remember the Eliminators? <laughs>